This morning, I want to share some practical things on how you and I can develop in the gifts of the Spirit. Number one is always be motivated by love. See, don't just have sympathy for people. Sympathy doesn't do anything. Oh, I feel so sorry for you. Yeah, so what? Another tip here to grow in the gifts is earnestly desire the gifts. Have a desire for this. Sure, you got to go to school, you got to go to college, you got to go to your place of work, but you look forward to the excitement, the anticipation. God, I desire the gifts to flow through me. Thirdly, stir up the gifts of God in you. Stay stirred up, meaning ready to be used by God. So how do you stir up? Some practical things you and I can do. One is to pray in tongues. Pray in tongues every day and pray in tongues throughout the day. And, and be ready. And keep using the gift. The more you step out, the more you des desire and step out on this, you stay stirred up. The gift doesn't go dormant. Another key here is to stay tuned in, meaning communing with the Holy Spirit. You know, if you see somebody in the need, Holy Spirit, do you want me to minister to that person? Holy Spirit, do you have a word for that person? So what are you doing? You're constantly in touch. Another important thing here about of just being developing the gifts is to learn to stay calm and rested all the time. So in, in order for the Holy Spirit to rest, settle on, on you and me, you and I need to be in that place of rest also. Be calm. Another key here is step out boldly on the Spirit's prompting. So the Holy Spirit prompts you, step out boldly. Take risks. One simple thing about willing to take risks is be dead to yourself. Tell your neighbor, die to yourself. So don't quench the Spirit. And the Spirit of God is prompting you, step out, take risks. Let the Holy Spirit work through you. Another, another important thing is practice, practice, practice. Right? It's something that you and I are learning to develop. So practice. There are times you'll get it right. Times you'll make mistakes. I've made mistakes. But then it's okay. You don't give up. You continue. Learn from every experience. So you reflect. You document. You write down. What did I learn through this experience? The success I've seen through the failure. You learn from every experience of, of just serving people with the gifts of the Holy Spirit. I want to encourage you also to increase in faith. How do you do that? One, of course, you, you read the Word of God, you meditate in the Scriptures. Secondly, you also listen to testimonies. You listen to stories of God working through other people. It builds your faith when you see how God is working through somebody else. Pray with fasting. You and I understand the importance of prayer. You spend time in prayer with fasting so that you can be ready for God to use you and work through you. Receive impartation. The gift comes from God. But he uses people to activate and impart. And lastly, is to grow in your function. Whatever your function is, whatever Jesus has called you into, as you're faithful in that, these gifts also will increase in order to help you fulfill your function in the body. I want to close this by talking, mentioning some hindrances. You know what could hinder us from moving in these gifts? For instance, ignorance and lack of teaching or neglect. That could happen. Don't let that happen. Stay stirred up. Sometimes it's a sense of unworthiness. We feel like, man, you know, I, I don't feel God, I'm fit enough, uh, good enough for God to work through me. That sense of unworthiness is not from God. Fear, doubt, and unbelief keeps us from stepping out. Or sometimes our reasoning. One good place to practice all this is in our life groups, in our small groups. Just use these gifts in those small groups. When you get together, you know, maybe 10 of you get together, 15 of you, 5 of you get together. But in that small group setting, Desire the gifts. Give opportunity for everyone to participate. Let everybody participate. You have life group leaders. Follow their instructions. And in, in that group, you, know, you, you allow yourself to be judged and corrected. Every gift has to be tested. Uh, do everything peacefully and in order. Everywhere, God is waiting to manifest himself through you by his spirit. We need walk in love. Desire the gifts, step out in faith.